Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Metro Exodus Announced Edition. We are still clearing out some of these ruins, which I already did before, but as mentioned, I had to discard quite a lot of footage. Yeah, already like a couple of hours ago, because the primary objective at the time was that one, and I got too far away from it, and then it got superseded automatically by the game. God damn it, are those critters respawning by another uh, objective and uh, yeah I did do want to do them all so I didn't have an autosave so I had to start way back and that was before looting this all so now I'm just quickly mopping it up over here but the car is stuck and apparently if you do like two missions it will automatically reset itself but I'm still a bit exploring the area so a car would be very handy and I checked YouTube and apparently what the hell? No! No! Oh! Those are the dangerous guys! Oh shit! No! 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 Oh my god! Those are the guys that got me killed earlier. And if they kill me now, it will be... Such a bummer. And they're super quick. Oh, that's what I mean. Oh, where are? where is he? Where is he? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Those buggers, they really mess you up. Um, God damn it. Alright. Um, I was saying... Damn it, I don't think I have grenades, do I? Oh shit, are there more? Over here, all the way? The problem with those critters is they... <sighs> pop up from underground, they're like moles. By the way, this weapon was pretty effective. I think it actually shot down two with one bullet. It went through one and to the other. But what I was actually saying is... Yeah, I do have one. All right, I'm gonna try it. My car is stuck. And... I need it. So I am going to... God damn it, it's really stuck. The guy on the internet could dislodge it quite easily. Mine not. God damn it, this is pretty expensive. Yes! Woohoo! It did work. Alright, I saw a way out over there. Let's try not to get stuck again. Woohoo! So all seems good. Just need to get over this little bump. Yes, very nice. Very nice. All right, so let's continue exploration. This area over here, I cleared out. Just park the car right about here. Quickly check out if there's anything over here. Except the bridge and the wrecks, which we already cleared out. There really isn't anything here. Metal detector not indicating anything. Oh, by the way, I think mm, that's also a bit of a bummer. I think my shotgun was empty. Oh, shit, there they come.
Alright, that was a bit overkill. Man. This weapon really sounds pretty fearsome. Check out from how far they are actually attacking. Using one effective weapon. God damn it. Alright, but let's save on bullets. And let's quickly clear it out over here and be mindful of swamp people that are hiding against the walls or on the ground. That one I already cleared out. The so pretty much everything on that side I cleared out. Then we have a gas station that I cleared out way back. But still. I heard my detector hit on anything, on something. Here. So did I miss anything here? Apparently. There's quite a lot of stuff still here. I think everything on that side I now cleared out. But on this side not yet. Alright, any hidden swamp people? Seems pretty good. Somehow, ah, there's actually something upstairs over there. <coughs> I did not check this out yet. Also, actually, nothing there. It's inside. Let me see if I can recognize any hidden buggers, send people. All right, then apparently, in the discarded footage, I thought I for sure. Yeah, I already checked this out, so... Hmm, not sure. Whether that respawns, or whether I just... Thought about that? No, I didn't. Alright, apparently, I'm pretty sure I already cleared this out, but that was apparently also in the footage 
that I had to discard so then I reloaded the last save which was before clearing this out apparently all right so that's good to have double checked and now we will just be making our way upwards over there and be checking any goodies that may linger around don't think it's that much anymore This is where I killed those critters. So this should all be clear already. Yeah, I don't have to double check that. I'm um, doing needless stuff. Right, this is like a full open area. Let's Whoa, 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 dude! <laughs> Alright, that was my mistake. <laughs> Any more? I was just about to lower my weapon. Right, why is it indicating something over there? Check them out. In the eye. In the eye sockets. Sorry dudes. I try to be the non-aggressor, but with you guys, you are pretty relentless killers yourselves. Kill or be killed. Live or die. I still find it sometimes hard to make out what the metal detector is hitting at <laughs> there might be something over here but So there really is, oh shit, uh, that's the guy I shot, I think. Aha! This one. I don't even think I found the first time around. Right, we're almost there. It's not the most fun, but it is actually a good training exercise with getting to grip with the speed of turning around and quickly taking aim whenever you're ambushed. You can be ambushed at any time over here by the hidden ones. Is this a hidden one? Yes. Or did I already shoot this one? No, I think this is a hidden one. That was a hidden one. And if I remember correctly, there may be more over here. So let's stay sharp and focused. I really don't see any.
Let's stay sharp and sharp. That's what I mean. <laughs> I really was contemplating, shouldn't I look first that way and then that corner? I make the wrong decision. Um, anywho. It is hitting on something here, but on what? Ah. Alright, I think that about wraps it up. So it really is minimal loot. I'll quickly run around a bit. See if the metal detector hits on anything anyways. Yeah, because it had like this weird indication over here. Couldn't really ah that was I think the box uh, over here in the corner like that box over there and I think we're pretty much good to go so then le that leaves the big building over there but I am sure I already cleared that out the only thing that could be since the last time. Is that the there were quite some sand people living in uh, lying in an ambush over here? Well, I don't really see them now anymore. I'm sure there will be a couple of them that will have respawns. If my recollection serves me right. There isn't anything here anymore. I do like this model of this jerry can. Pretty cool. Um, no. Metal detector is not hitting on anything anymore here. So, this one I indeed already. took out fully. And that pretty much wraps it up, I would say. There is the Aurora, so we cleared out all the ruins. Um, let's just, before continuing... Holy shit, what the hell? Ah, there are also... Holy shit! There are also just... Guys randomly in the middle of the desert, over here. What's this? Right, and my metal detector didn't even hit on that lady, but she did have loot. Right, I was not expecting that, but there are also like... This <laughs> Holy shit, that was a close call. Probably better to explore this by car, but all right, while I'm at it, why not? Let's just walk around a bit, create some balls. Um, some meta packs, and why not some more balls? Let's just make it. Uh, that was actually not that smart, I think creating all these balls because what I forgot is when you loot enemies or scrap often there are balls in there as well so now let's indeed try to make use of these balls that I just crafted <sighs> all right the air yeah which those ships I already all cleared out um, maybe I'm not really sure until how far back no that encampment over there I think I did not yet clear out but we can do that later and that ship in the middle 
I'm also not fully sure about. We'll have to check that later. But first, let's just get back to the Aurora. I'm sure there's not much there, but just maybe there's some new exposition, like some new dialogues. <coughs> we did complete the mission after all. Shit. Sandstorm coming up. <coughs> Holy shit, this is a pretty dense storm. I haven't experienced this dense yet. Check it out from up here. Pretty cool. Some water for me. It became Can quite we scarce lately. Grab, take a seat, Artyom. You must be tired. Hi, Artyom. See how anxious Nasty was for your return? I told her you went to get the maps so they didn't know where to go next. Did you find them? Great. Sit near the Cornell and tell us more. We've all been anxious, really. Any luck out there? We are all so anxious here. Alright, pretty cool. So in between missions, it does pay off to get back to the base camp. over You got them? Great job, Artyom. Great news. Artyom got the maps. Well done, Artyom. That is such a Get started with these. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot of data. It. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron. But his terms proved to be unacceptable. He'll hold us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror recounted to the place and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Artyom, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water oh to the Oh my god, again, is my not an option. objective is being overridden. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Oh my Christ, gosh. how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. My previous Perfect. 
auto save is like two hours ago it's now 2021 yeah one and a half hour ago i had i think an objective of meeting up with anna anna was somewhere god damn it and now it says i'm going to an oasis to replenish our fresh water reserve but first i've got to meet damir at the rendezvous point marked by jewel what have you got idiot and this is so what annoying can I say we clearly didn't come here in vain got it all figured out sure seems so the radiation levels are plotted in color huh. they even have the radiation level dynamics here right i really don't like this uh Where is it from that you cannot mm, choose old. which well let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then which, which maps have we got which objective you want to go with? Well, where would I keep any? In your untouchable reserve, of Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. God damn it. Alright, I'm really not sure what... Aha, I see. Hmm. No far east. Weird. Uh, anywho, let's clean some weapons. This one is pretty clean. This one can use a bit. This one is pretty clean as well. Like so. We have also something new over here. So we are now doing the extended filter, reinforced helmet or armored glass. This visor makes the mask much more resistant to damage, rendering it a lot harder to crack. Nope, I'm going with the extended filter. I'm doing a stealthy approach anyways. Over here we have uh, the charge controller, extra bright flashlights. The incandescent bulb is replaced with an arc discharge metal halide one. The main advantage being a powerful beam of light produced with increased power consumption being the main drawback of this upgrade. And then we have the electrical equipment. Nope, I'm going with the uh, improved efficiency. I'd rather have longer light than stronger, shorter light. Um, and then over here we have the T-car upgrades. All right, we have the airtight pneumatic system and we're now going with the automatic pneumatic system. Hey, that's a nice one. When pressure in the system falls below normal level, an electric pump will automatically tops it off. You can still use the hand pump if need be. Very nice. That's a good one because that pumping was a bit tiresome. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly with all the sand around. They were still pretty clean, I must say. Um, anywho. Yeah, I find it very annoying that I was planning just to go here for some dialogue and then get to Anna and continue that mission. And now, yeah, I'm pretty sure that mission will not pop up again. I think it was when we were at the lighthouse and i think she said something about the crane i think that maybe i remember uh, that so uh, what do you think of our situation Artyom? not so good huh now besides we had guests to gave them our best welcome naturally but the beast ran straight into stepan with this mint grinder and he just minced them we rushed out but only saw the bodies one of the bodies blood was stepan's now at first I thought the bastards got him, but ah, he didn't even have a scratch on him. It was a freaking heat stroke. He's down in the station building now, resting. The rest of the guys are not in a great shape either, so... If those oil bandits decide to put real pressure on us, we are screwed. And they may just do that, because I think that you lady is trying to use us as a piece in her own game, Belet. Having us take those bandits out would play right into her hand. 
Though if we are all out from dehydration by the time they arrive, that plan will backfire big time. The colonel ordered that water is to be only given to the sick, and those on patrol doesn't drink at all himself. <sighs> so he's cooped up inside, and there is no getting him out. He says he's too weak. It might hurt the morale if people see him like that, you know? As if the morale could get any worse with no water at all. <laughs> it got so bad, Yermak decided to try and condense some from the air. It's goddamn desert, Blin. So this is the situation. We need water and fuel, badly. And we need a hell of a lot of both. With Aurora turning over two tons of water into steam per hour, her appetite for fuel is also nothing to sneeze at. We're up a shit creek here, and we'd better find a paddle soon, you know? Or else we ain't gonna come out smelling like fucking roses. Well, that's my take on the things, at least. Right, did he say two tons of water or steam per hour? God damn it. You can only drive it for like a couple of hours before it runs out, I would say. Two tons. It's like two little cars weight of water. Anywho, I do think I remember from the previous time I played this game that those question marks i think the left one is near the port and that is where anna might be i think there was a sniper or something high up and she would help out so before going to the main objective i think i'm just going to clear out those um, question marks what the hell is this camera all right no that's not what we want all right, let's do that. We are going question mark hunting. And we will be getting there from the other side. Something above my head. I also think there will be bandits over here. All right, I don't see a gargoyle, which is always a good thing. And now I wonder whether uh, that's the problem. What I hate with objective being superseded by others by the game itself. I'm not sure whether the, the whole side mission or, or, or little uh, thing with Anna still triggers now. Probably not. So I truly hate game design like that. You give people an objective, people want to be thorough. They just also uh, do other stuff, they get through the Aurora and stuff, and then the game decides, ah, you went back to the Aurora, here's your next objective. You screwed the other one, didn't do it, incomplete. That's not really the idea of at least my playthroughs. I would like to get as close to 100% as possible. And if the game then simply cancels objectives then that is just totally annoying 
unless Anna is there, then that would be nice. I hear someone coughing. It could either be a bandit or no. Or it is Anna actually in this little house. If that is the case, then we're good. Then we can just continue where we left off. I'm not sure whether it's Anna. Yes, there she is. All right, very nice. All right, so I didn't say anything, but still I find it annoying that, yeah, that your objective, that they cannot be like simultaneously. Or at least why would the other objective kick in if I didn't do this one yet? If they story-wise cannot be run simultaneously. This dust will be the end of me. Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. All right. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. What building? While you were out you looking mean? for the map, we encountered a new problem. The water. <coughs> True. I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. All right. I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. Pretty if cool. you're going to the port, there's a convenient zip line on the roof. Pretty cool weapon over there. Um, what do we have here? Can we get in there? Be careful out there, all right? Right, she was talking about a ship. Uh, I think that's the ship they mean. Over there. Yeah, so there's quite some stuff to do over here. Let's uh, first check out for any loot. <coughs> Where does this go? Uh, over there. Alright, so we have the crane, we have a ship. But let's also first... <coughs> check this bridge. There's bound to be some stuff over here. And... Yeah, and these markers, I still also have no idea what they are supposed to indicate. Hey, there's like a totally new... There are new... That's also one we still have to clear out. But that's for later. Um, and over there is a gargoyle nest. Which has goodies. So maybe that's a nice one to start first. Oh shit. Music is kicking in. That usually means that bandits are around. 
And hitting the 40 minute marker. Where are the bandits? I don't really see any. Maybe that's just me. And is that a safe house or not? Let's check that out. Ah, and there was also this ruin over here. I do think that ruin has some swamp people in it. Man, it's actually a pretty big game, I must say. If you want to explore it all, it's pretty big. Uh, my plan was actually... While we are here anyways, hopefully it's still there. Is it? Or did it flew away? Oh shit, wrong button. Yes, it's still there. Please stay there. Let's make the this one into a sniper one. Yeah, god damn it, I don't have a very good scope, but maybe this scope helps. That should work. Now I don't see that. Yeah, it's sleeping, right? I was like, I can just as well take out that beast from here. All right, here we go. Cannot really do a headshot. Don't see its head. That worked. Nice. Um, oh shit, I hit the 40 minute marker. This one and that one. All right guys, in the next episode, I will be getting the upgrade from there. Maybe check out the ship over there. And then we will be, and first uh, clearing out this ruin. And that's pretty much it. Just exploring a bit further. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.